The Visual Explorer provides assistance for understanding the point cloud data. It does this by dynamically recoloring points around the cursor based on their 3D location and a direction. The Visual Explorer toolbar is accessed from the Point Cloud Advanced Toolbox and provides settings to customize the appearance and behavior of this tool. The first button enables or disables the Visual Explorer and selects the display mode which can be either flashlight or cross-section. The next two buttons control the size of the cross-section cylinder or flashlight cone. These values can be entered manually or be set by measuring directly on the Point Cloud. The Show Visual Explorer settings opens a dialog to control the colors, transparency and on-plane thickness. The weight of the highlighted points is controlled by the bold option. And finally, the Change Visual Explorer dialog provides controls for setting the direction of the cross-section cylinder or flashlight cone via keyboard shortcuts. When enabled, the Visual Explorer gives the effect of a dynamic cross-section as the cursor moves through the point cloud. This provides a better understanding of the point cloud and may eliminate the need to rotate the view. In addition, a heavy dot and dashed line will be attached to the cursor. The dot is the location of the cursor and the dashed line represents the axis of the Visual Explorer. To control the direction of the Visual Explorer, the Change Visual Explorer button is selected. The spacebar turns the display of the flashlight cone or cross-section cylinder on or off. The Alt button dynamically rotates the Visual Explorer. Pressing R will reset the direction and orientation so that it's perpendicular to the view. And C will adjust the cursor so it snaps to a point along the view direction. This forces the Visual Explorer to that point. Here, I've tapped the spacebar to display the Visual Explorer cross-section cylinder. And now, I'm holding down the Alt key as I move my mouse to rotate the direction of the cylinder. And another tap of the spacebar removes the display of the cylinder. When moving the Visual Explorer around the point cloud, it may seem to disappear or fall off the points. In that case, simply press C to snap the cursor to the nearest point and thereby reposition the Visual Explorer. Again, the cursor is moved and the Visual Explorer needs to be repositioned. To do this, I tap the letter C on the keyboard. The keyboard shortcuts can only be performed when Change Visual Explorer has been activated. Since the Change Visual Explorer automatically deactivates when any other tool is selected, it's recommended to customize a function key with the following key in. In this example, I'm pressing F1 to enable the functionality of the Change Visual Explorer tool. It's helpful to display the cross-section cylinder when adjusting its size. The display of the cylinder is toggled with a spacebar when Change Visual Explorer is active. The size, colors, transparency, on-plane thickness, and bold options can be set at any time during the tool's usage. Note that these settings are stored in the UPF file of the active workspace.